Welcome back to the Trisha Dillon channel and happy Vlogmas. Today's video is sponsored by none other than Teddy Blake. I am so excited and happy to be a brand ambassador and I absolutely love my Teddy Blake bag. I have had my bag now since about July and it is in perfect condition. This bag is so cute and whenever I wear it out, I always get so many compliments about how beautiful and unique the look is and it's absolutely gorgeous. So let me tell you a little bit about the one that I selected. My bag is the Ava Kroka 9 inch in gold and she is beautiful, okay? Just gorgeous. Teddy Blake has Italian designers pitch from well-known luxury brands. They create handbags designed for every style choice. If you don't see your Teddy Blake bag yet, you can subscribe and they release new collaborations every month. The designers work very hard to develop new, unique designs, which also try to keep the price point to affordable levels. You enjoy the luxury feel and smell of real leather as all Teddy Blake bags are made with luxurious leather from Italy's finest Pelotories. Each bag is dyed and treated to stand the test of time and maintain a luxurious look. Working in the same Italian factories as other luxurious brands and following the knowledge gathered from decades of experience in the luxury leather, laborers will turn a Teddy Blake bag into a work of art. As you can see, I've also included their website on here, which is really easy to navigate. I love how they include what's currently trending on Instagram, and you can see what other people are selecting and purchasing. One thing I also love is they have a quiz. So I decided to take the quiz and select all of my personal preferences, which you can do the same. And that includes what you need the bag for, the type of colors that you gravitate towards, and the type of leather texture that you like. And they put all of this into the computer and the algorithm comes up with some choices that would be absolutely perfect for you. Heading into fall and weather, the bag I selected was white because it was the middle of July and summer, but I absolutely love these darker colors for winter, especially this holiday red. Like, it is poppin'. One thing that I personally love about Teddy Blake is that they offer you a luxury handbags with all the characteristics of all of those big name luxury brands without the $1,000 to $2,000 price tag just for a label. They really give you luxury at a fair price, and it's going to be even better during the holiday season because they are going to be having tons of sales. So this is the perfect time for you to go on, take this quiz, and get your luxury handbag. Of course, I already have my eye on this little beauty, so I might be adding this to my holiday collection. Hi vlog, welcome back to my channel. So we just dropped off the kids at the airport. They just finished their vacation with us and now we are getting ready for brunch and we're gonna head out um, with Art's parents, his sister Alex and his uncle Harry and we're gonna go up to Morning Glory. This is my outfit check of the day. I have on my purple romper. I also have this suede brown like duster in case it gets cold. And then of course I'm gonna be bringing my favorite bag, my Teddy Blake bag, which I love. Also, I have a partnership with them, so if you're looking for a discount code or a good gift for somebody, um, it will be linked below. Highly recommend to put on your Christmas list. All right, guys, let's get the show on the road. Morning Glory is located right in the heart of one of my favorite San Diego neighborhoods, Little Italy. Today was a gorgeous November day and it was so nice just to check out the neighborhood and see all of the people out and about. If you go on the weekend or really anytime because Little Italy is popping like that, I recommend that you plan out your parking or just take an Uber and have them drop you off outside. Today was a little bit more complicated because they had a street fair going on right next to the restaurant so we did have to park a little bit of ways but honestly I didn't 
mind, this gave us a wonderful opportunity to take a walk around the neighborhood and see all the amazing restaurants. As you guys know, we've ate at several places in Little Italy before. We've ate at Born and Ray's, Manello, so many fantastic places. So the wait to get into Morning Glory was very, very long. They do not take reservations, so you have to plan accordingly. We were actually able to get the perfect table with great lighting and the service was absolutely spectacular. So I'm gonna let you enjoy the vibes and then I'll tell you what we ordered. Here is a star of the show, the souffle Michelin rated pancakes, and they are worth every single scrumptious bite. So if you are thinking about going to Morning Glory or this has been on your bucket list for a while, you just need to go. Afterwards, we decided to enjoy this gorgeous day and we decided to check out the street fair that they had going on. There are so many local vendors and I just absolutely love supporting the neighborhood and street fairs is a thing that happens every single weekend in different locations in San Diego. And our favorite street performer, Joe Dreams, made a cameo. I feel like I see him everywhere I go, but his music is always fun. breakfast at Morning Glory downtown here in Little Italy and there's like a cute little farmer's market going on. Breakfast was delicious. I highly recommend that you try the Michelin star level pancakes. They were amazing souffle pancakes and now we're going to see what we're going to get into for today. Let's check it out. After brunch, we headed downtown to Grand Havana. This is a local smoke shop. They have cigars that are hand rolled on site. They have dessert, gelato, crepes, and on top of that, it's actually a hookah lounge. So pretty much it's a one-stop shop for all things indulgent. I've actually been here with my friends to um, just have a chill hookah day, and it's nice. You can sit back and just socialize. We actually headed into the cigar room where Uncle Harry treated Art to some hand-rolled cigars. All of the brands that you see in here for the most part are rolled and curated on site and this was just a nice little treat for the guys. They wanted to drink some of their Pappy Van Winkle whiskey a little bit later and what goes great with whiskey? Some cigars. But it's Friday and I got a few robins I need a basket Playing traffic if you wanna play the faction We don't act, we getting active Stacking cash and dodging taxes My father was a Catholic Never taught me how to practice But with music I'm a Baptist Christen all these fucking tracks I bless these raps with Standing in the middle of the marsh Yeah baby Both sides caving on the drive Praying to my pops and the guys Hi Brian, I'm right there man uh, another great brunch, uh, the Coronado Hotel. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh phenomenal. Oh, yeah. oh. That was, I'd say that was... 
Alrighty guys, last day of vacation and we are headed to La Jolla today. We're gonna go pick up Art's mom and dad, his sister Alex and Uncle Harry, and we're just gonna go walk around, explore, probably eat lunch somewhere great. Um, maybe George's by the Cove. Um, so we'll see what we get into today. It's a little bit cooler, it's like 68 degrees. So if you're visiting San Diego in the fall, you just kind of have to be prepared for everything. I always suggest lots of layers because um, it's cooler in the morning, cooler at night, but then it gets hot during the day. So you really just have to come with layers and be prepared. I have my Teddy Blake bag with me today. Bring it a little bit differently, styling it with the longer strap since we're gonna be walking around and we're gonna have a great day. So let's get into it. Let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. And that wraps up our San Diego staycation. It was so nice to have all of our family visit us. We had so much fun, so many adventures, and it was amazing. But next vlog is going to be up tomorrow at 6 p.m. for Vlogmas, so make sure you tune in. Holiday decor and Thanksgiving.